Today, we're gonna start with an absolutely gorgeous female bumblebee, which is a pastel and a spider. And she was bred to this banana and she lesser bongo hat for clown. So there are so many options in here. That's incredible. Let's see how many eggs she has. What a clutch of eggs. I tell you, this one's gonna be fun to cut. Oh, look at this. One little slugger in here, but that's okay. And look at these eggs right here. My goodness, this is gonna be so exciting. I mean, all those crazy mutations put together. Who doggy? Cannot wait for 57 days now. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine gorgeous eggs. So we'll go ahead, get these in the incubator. We'll check on them here about halfway through incubation. And later on in the vlog, which will be 57 days from now, you're gonna find out what's in these eggs. Mike, what are you doing, man? Four. Huh? What are you doing? Counting the toes. Counting the toes Three. on the fish? Four. Yeah, that's what I said. All right, man, whenever you're done with that, just like, can you please feed salt and mop up? I was stepping some sticky by the bathroom. And I saw some urates and like ivies too, man. But I'm finished with this, right? Yes, man, just, okay. please. Four, seven. Mop or feed salt? Mop or feed salt? Man, I don't know. Is that a magic eight ball? Maybe this can help me find out what to do today. Clutch 65 going in the incubator. It's just gonna be a really cool clutch. That bumblebee and then bred to all that cool stuff. Hospital head clown stuff. And I think from a combination standpoint, a bunch of cool, incomplete, dominant things. So check up on these guys halfway through. Later in the vlog, day 57. Cannot wait to cut these animals. They're gonna be so absolutely incredible. You're about to see what's gonna happen. Oh, magic eight ball. Dude, I feed salt first. Very. Doubtful. Blues doesn't help at all. Magic eight ball. Should I mop the floor? Ask again later. Oh, come on. Oh, magic eight ball. Should I get the urate out of Ivy? Yes. I hate that job. <laughs> uh, go, go, go. That looks pretty clean. Oh, magic eight. Can I be done now? Please come out. My reply is no. Dang it. He's scrubbing, I guess. It's just a really cool combination. That bumblebee obviously is the pastel and the spider. And you got the banana, the enchi, the lesser, and the bongo. And it's gonna be all possible head clowns too. Did have two little eggs kind of go bad. You can see how ugly these guys look. Matter of fact, we'll see if what's inside them, see what's going on with that stuff. Four, six, seven good eggs that are still good. So should get some pretty interesting combos. And these are all gonna be possible head clowns. So I'm gonna sleep one time tonight, wake up tomorrow morning, grab these eggs, head out to the shop. We're gonna find out what's inside. Oh, magic eight ball. Can I feed salt now? Yes, definitely. Nice. Man, this eight ball is making everything so easy today. Isn't making up my mind for me. That's typically half the problem right there. Salty. Come on. Up. Oh, you missed. Woo! Right there. Come on. Up. Ah, there it is. It's a good girl. Up. Oh, Mike. So you're getting a lot done today. It's like you got something new in you. I knock yourself out. Had to get stuff done. I feel like your decision making is so good today. <laughs> Scratch the booty. I'm getting out of here. Keep up the good work, pal. Thanks, Noah. We'll catch you later. Right there. Up. Uh, oh yeah, you got it. All right, now open nice and wide. There she is. I love this alligator. All right, we're ready the morning of. Freshly showered, all cleaned up. Although we lost a couple eggs in this bumblebee clutch, the fact is there should be some bangers in there. What do you say we head to the shop and cut some eggs? Magic eight ball, should I feed pepper? Signs point to yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you ready? Where are you going? Pepper! I, I stay, stay. Good girl. No, stay, stay open. That's my hand. Pepper's been working really good with her stationing and making sure she's not falling out of the enclosure. Obviously that's more important. Did I say go yet? No, up here, come on. That'll be all. Thank you. No, that's my hand. You stay right there. Good girl. I'm getting a lot done, I feel so productive. This ball has changed my life. Pepper, up. That was good. Come on, uh, pull me. Bye, Salty. So there is some crazy, crazy genetics going on in this one. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find out what these are in the egg. Probably gonna have to wait for them to climb out, which you guys are gonna see here just in a few minutes and see what the actual genetics are. But I'm gonna do the best I possibly can as I'm cutting the eggs to tell you what I think the genetics are. And then we'll have to go from there. This one's rolled over. So you know what, I'm gonna just have to let that one crawl out. There's nothing I could do. When they're on their belly, you can't see the pattern. And I don't know what's going on, right? So, all right, egg number two. Let's see if this one's not rolled over and we can actually see what's going on in it. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful snake. Wow, I don't even know what it is. It's like purplish, silverish. I mean, I don't even know. You know, I know this definitely got, I'm gonna take a crack at it. Looks like it's probably a, a pastel, banana, 
lesser, bongo, maybe enchi, I don't even know. Th that one is ridiculous looking, absolutely incredible. I can't wait till that claws out, because again, that's very purpley, interesting looking steak. Of course, we got a couple bad eggs. We're not even gonna cut those today because they just look completely disgusting, and we've done that before. So let's move on to egg number three. Ooh, another one, another one. The same genetics as one before, but I don't think this has spider in it. The other one looks like it has spider. So this one looks like a pastel banana, lesser, an enchi, and bongo. Ooh, I tell you what, that's a ripper here. You gotta remember, these are all possible hat for clown too, because the adult male was actually a hat clown. So these guys are 50% hat clown. So some females to hold back for future breeding? Hmm, sounds like a pretty good idea. Four more eggs. Here we go. Okay, we have a really beautiful snake here. It just looks like a pastel bongo that would be possible head for clown. That's really beautiful. Possible enchi too. I think there's actually enchi in there too. So probably pastel enchi bongo. That's a possible head clown. Not bad at all. That's a pretty, pretty snake. Magic eight ball. Oh, most powerful. Do I mop now? Signs point to yes. Son of a biscuit. Yeah. Good enough to eat off of. Man, I've been working all day. Let's see if I can get a break. Come visit us sometime. Reptile Zoo, you can hold some snakes and stuff. I'm serious. Ask for Noah. Oh, Magic A Ball, please can we go to McDonald's? My reply is no. No, you just As I see it, yes! Let's go to freaking McDonald's. Hey, Connie, I'm gonna go to McDonald's real quick. Do you want anything? Yeah, can I get a McChicken? Nope. Okay, thanks, Mike. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks, this thing lied. How was your trip to McDonald's, Mike? Wasn't good, the lobby was closed, couldn't get any food. Well, that's what you get, you and your stupid eight ball. Oh my God. Hey, who did you get to McDonald's? McDonald's? They were closed. That's who? Ah, uh, fiddlesticks! What's his problem? Three more eggs. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I think it's a pastel, it's an enchi, it's a spider, and it's probable bongo. The really beautiful snake, two more eggs. Tell you, this clutch has been pretty interesting. Cannot wait till they climb out so we can actually take a closer look at them. And that's gonna happen just in the next couple minutes of this vlog. There we go. Okay, well we have a little, uh, hmm, what is this actually? That's a good question. This this actually looks like maybe a normal ball python, like a really pretty normal. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna have to wait for that one to crawl out. I don't see anything in there that looks like any mutation at all, which would be really weird with this many combinations of <laughs> mutations. Let's go on to the last egg. Here we go. Let's end this with a bang. Wow, yes we did. Wow, look at that right there. That is a banger right there. That again looks like a banana, a lesser, a spider, a bongo, and an enchi ball python. <laughs> I tell you, that is a, that might be the prettiest snake in the clutch. There's some really beautiful purpley snakes, but the contrast on that one is exactly what I was looking for. So I tell you what guys, uh, we're gonna see these crawl out of the egg here in just another couple minutes, and you guys are gonna be blown away. I'm gonna be blown away. I cannot wait till they climb out. One, 1,000, two, that 1,000, three, 1,000. Connie, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just counting the toes on the fish. Can you just use that for a while? Yeah. I'm, I think I'm gonna need a break. Does this mean I get McDonald's? <laughs> and the clutch is hatched out and actually shed out and even eaten a couple times now. So this is actually a bumblebee enchi. Enchi and those bumblebee will go really well together because the pastel and spider, which is what a bumblebee is, both interact with enchi really well. Look at how beautiful that snake is. And then this is another example of the exact same genetics, a bumblebee enchi. So a pastel, a spider, and an enchi. Wow, look at how clean and colorful that is. And then we actually just had a pastel enchi. Like I had mentioned, the enchi gene and the pastel gene mix so good together. Really beautiful snake. Then we start getting into some beautiful animals. Look at this one here. This is actually a pastel. It's a banana. It's a lesser. It's a bongo. Bruh. And it's possible hat for clown. And then take a look at this one here. Remember the bumblebee enchi? Well, this is also a bumblebee enchi, but it also has banana and it has bongo in it. So man, this has got a tremendous amount of amazing mutations and it looks absolutely wonderful. And I actually caught this one just just as it's starting to shed out right now. This is actually a pastel banana. Bongo, bongo, bongo. That's a possible head clown. I tell you what, I love the pattern on the sides, the way the flaming comes up here. What an absolutely beautiful clutch. No, no, very important question. Would you rather have a PB&J sandwich or a turkey and cheese? I don't know, I don't really like those that much. If you had to choose one, peanut butter and jelly, specifically grape jelly, the turkey and cheese. Peanut butter and jelly, man. What would you do? I think I'm gonna try both. 
What's a lot? What's a lot? The flavor profile. Go away. Let me get a bite. American cheese and that Concord grape jelly. All right, bite. let me give it a whirl. Oh, man, you're right. This flavor profile's insane. I know. Awesome to see that clutch hatch out. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs>